Hello friends, welcome to Mitty's Kitchen. <coughs> Today we are making our gond lardo, which is edible gum. Je apne gundar kaiye chhe, gundar na lardo, and you know that that's the really best for the winter season because we always have aches and pains, you know, like back ache or knee joint, ankle joints, elbow joints. So this is this ingredient supports really very good for this season. So I like to introduce my recipes to you. Uh, I had to cook two cup of makhanas. This makhanas is lotus flower, and this is really very healthy, very healthy. Also, I have three hundred grams edible gum, which is almost like a two cups if you measuring in the cups. I have three tablespoon of uh, raisin, cup of almond, half cup of cashews, and cup of walnut. Also, two cups of uh, dry coconut, and also I have two and a half cup of a deshi ghee, and I had four cup of flour, gave flour, wheat flour, and also, I have three cup of kola puri gold jaggery. Kola puri jaggery. So let's we start now. What we do first things we will add. I have kept my ghee separate, so how much we need it, we will use it. So like small amount of ghee we will add, and. And my heat is on medium because we don't have to keep too high. And at this point, we will add makana. So makana, we have to roast until makana gets like a light brown. And it's really very healthy. You can see that it will roast very well. And all these ingredients we have to cook on the low heat. Otherwise, when it get burnt, you don't get well test. So we can see that. So as you can see that now our makana is done. So at this point, I'll take it out in one container. And I'm taking inside so it will help us to when we have to crush them a little bit. You can see that it's making really nice crispy noise, so it got crisp very well. At this point, we will add again small amount of ghee and we will Try our bone. And this one we have to do it very low heat because we don't want to get anything burnt or anything, you know. So you can see that it doesn't take too long because my bone is really very nice and small size you know so it don't need too much time or uh, much key around there so you can see that it's roasted very well so that's how we will roast all the rest of the bone So friends, this is like last batch we are frying our gum and you can see that it's roasting, frying very well with the ghee and uh, after we take it out this one and then we have to roast our all dry foods. So now our makana and Gum is done. 
so now we will roast or fry our raisins and that doesn't take too long because it's very soft you know so this all we have to keep it on the low heat and we have to do it so you can see that it's color getting changed and also getting like fluffy you know so once it will be done in second we have to take it out in this bowl again so at this point now you can see that our raisin done so we will fry our almond also cashews and walnut you can fry together as, uh, because anyways you will crush them together you know so it's not that hard to fry it together so now you can see that it's roasting very well but we will let it cook like probably couple minutes you know uh, walnut uh, walnut will be okay and also cashew too but little bit almond needs few minutes more so we will let it cook together and I will continue stir and once I am done I will show you the next procedure so once you can see that now our all dry fruits are done so we'll take it out in this one and we will let it cool down a little bit so we can make some crust and however you like to do it if you like too much you know like completely coarse you can make it or you can make it like a halfway just not much uh, coarse anything however you like test you can use it that way so now i will add our coconut in it this one I have coconut and we will let it you know cook like a couple of minutes until it gets like out of moisture so so now you can see that our coconut done and it's really out of moisture so we will take it out in the same container so at this point again we will add some ghee in there and we will roast our flour so currently i am using this much and if we need more we will use it that and also you know that we have four cup of flour and flour needs little bit time very low heat so that will take like another 15 to 20 minutes so we will let it roast very good and the all recipes depends on the how you are roasting this flour because we cannot be in rush to cook certain ingredients so we will let it cook like roast another 15 to 20 minutes and in between I will show you now you can see that our flour roasted very well is completely color changed it took probably like 16 minutes so at this point I will take it out in my container So now we are making our jaggery syrup, right? Chashni. So I'm adding like a couple tablespoon of ghee and also our jaggery. And we will let it cook like you know low medium because this that jaggery is really very sweet you know so I like to use the certain quantities to make my sweet 
it's really very nice Kolapuri jaggery and it's completely like a, you know desi jaggery so we will let it cook very low heat and also same time I will use couple tablespoon of water so jaggery might take probably you know five to seven minutes So friends, you can see that now our jaggery is getting melted very good in the ghee. So at this point, what I will do, I will turn off the stove and I will sometime that, uh, you know, ghee, not specially ghee, but the jaggery might have some impurity in that. So what I will do, So now friends you can see that I have put it the jaggery in the strainer and I have done that. Now we will add this coconut, also the raisins and this is our old dry fruits. same time we will add our makane and also bone. so we will continue stir that until it's mixed well and we don't have to use our hand because it is too hot so when you are able to maintain with the hand you can add your hand inside but besides that we have to continue to use with a spoon so friends you can see that now our all ingredients cooperating very good and i will continue to mix that so and if you feel like that, that makhana is big, if you just press it like that, it will smell so easy, you know. But it's really very tasty and healthy. Please use makhana so you will not have any kind of pain in this winter, right? <laughs> and winter is enough hard for us. So you will really enjoy this. So I'm still now mixing that and I want to mix until I can easily manage, you know, but still my mixture is really hot. But whatever I get the, see the makanos, I'm just smashing that and it's like pops up, you know, so. And what I will do now, I will put it in my bowl so it get easily cold. We don't have to spend much time for this one. And if I need this uh, ghee, I will use it for more, you know, to like uh, in order to make ladu because these ingredients needs little bit more ghee and that's the only way you can get more healthy ladus and ghee sometimes we feel like more towards like uh, calories and things but uh, it's okay to eat occasionally so I really enjoy my this particular recipes I love it So I think what we can do, we can keep it half here and half in another one. So it will be get very easily cold. So I'm moving from my stove. 
you can see there's still macanese some of the big now it's really very good so let me try it this can be manageable still is little bit hot so i will let it cool couple more minutes and i will show you so friends i was trying to make it and uh, i think <coughs> it's really nice you can see that and <coughs> while it's little bit hot you can do that because other <coughs> otherwise when it gets cold it will be little bit hard but don't worry about that if you feel like that is cooled down very much then just microwave a couple of minutes you know and then it will turn out very good so that's how we do this old ladoos and you can see that i have still some keys extra if i need it i will use it but so far i don't feel like that and my ladu is turning so well so i will continue to make it this ladu and once i'm done i will show you so friends now you can see that our gone ladu is ready and uh, it took like another 30 to 40 minutes to make it you know because it was very hot so I have to let a bit cool down and all you just follow this very close these ingredients and also try to use the kola puri bowl that jaggery is really very tasty and also that's our desi jaggery so it's really very tasty and also ghee like I have used probably two and a half cup and all other ingredients is there so leftover key i have used for that too so you can see that now that four cup of flour and all other ingredients now my ladu is done i hope you like this recipes if you like please share with the friends and family and comments to on our comment block i'll be back again with another simple recipes until then have a blessed day